Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Now, whilst watching videos in a web browser is fine, sometimes it's great to have the functionality to download and take them offline. Today, I'm going to cover an application on Mac OS that does exactly that, and that's PullTube. Now, PullTube is able to download video content to your local device from a variety of different sites. It's a really handy application. Now I'm on the PullTube site here, and I thought I'd direct you to the pricing first of all. Now a standard license for this application is £11.99, and it covers up to two machines. It also has free upgrades, which is really, really good. Now a family license is £29.99, and this covers up to five machines. But best of all, PullTube is one of those great applications that's covered under the Setup subscription. So that's what I'm going to demo today. I'm just going to open up Setup. And I'll do a quick search for PullTube. And as I've already pre-installed it, I'm going to click Open. And PullTube runs from a very small window. Now, I'm OK for PullTube to notify me when jobs are done. So I'm going to allow notifications. And I'll just minimize these other windows to tidy things up a little bit. There we are. That's better. Now, as we can see, PullTube supports video downloads from a host of different sources. It's not just restricted to YouTube. We've got Vimeo, Facebook, Instagram. Lots of usual suspects are covered here. And if you want to see an intro tutorial, then click the button at the bottom. But hopefully this video should cover you. Now you can drag a URL into the window to link to it. Or alternatively, you can type or paste a URL in. Now I'm going to open Safari. And I've already searched for an iOS 13 video on YouTube. This one here is a 9 to 5 Mac one. It's pretty good. So I'm just going to go to the address bar and click Command C to copy. Then I'll minimize that. Go back across to pull tube and paste it with command and V. Now, after a short while, the video appears and we've got the title, we've got the duration. And if we want to do a basic download, then we can just click download video. So let's do that. And the pop-up box shortly appears, offers the opportunity to convert the video on the fly to an MP4. And the reason for this is by default, since version 1.0.6, all non-encoded MP4s are downloaded in their source format. So that could be FLV, MKV files, or others. I'll accept this and carry out the conversion. Now the video is going to start downloading and I'm going to pause the video at this point while that takes place. Well, I've had a quick change of heart because there's some stuff here that I can run through with you. We've got six circular options that are surrounding the main download thumbnail. Let's see what they can do. The first one just cancels the download. And then below that, we can cancel, but add the video to be downloaded later into a queue. Below that, we can add another link whilst this one's downloading. And then over to the right hand side, we can copy the video link to a clipboard if it's not already there, unlike mine, of course. And then below that, we can open the video in a web browser. And then finally, we can download a copy of the thumbnail. 